Ah, it's a beautiful, wet, soggy, California rainy day. So I figured, uh, why don't we uh, do some, some pitching? Let's do it. The dreaded 30 yard pitch shot. Today I'm gonna give you my five keys to hitting these solid, crisp at the flag every single time. You're gonna love it. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do that now and hit the bell notification so you don't miss anything. And if you're interested in any of the gear I have, like my math, club, whatever, links are in the description below. Let's get to it. Here we go. Okay, step one. Okay, we're gonna go in order here. One, two, five, obviously, go in order. Step one is this. You have to keep your weight forward. More on your front foot than your back, okay? We're not transferring our weight back and forth. We don't wanna do that. We're gonna keep about 70% on that front foot the whole time you're swinging. Just stay on that front foot. That's step one. You've gotta keep your weight on that left side. You're gonna be more accurate. You're gonna be just more consistent ball striking every single time. So step one, weight stays on your left side the whole time, 70%. Okay, if you watch my channel at all, I preach, I don't pre, I might, but I talk about this all the time, and it's step two. Here we go, look at this. For pitching, for pitching, for every shot, we don't, do not rotate your hands open. Don't do that, don't open your hands on your backswing, okay? We wanna keep that face shut, if anything, as you go back. Rotating it open is gonna get you in big trouble when you're pitching. So weight forward, don't rotate. Don't rotate anything. It's right here. Almost made that. I'm going for the, the black bucket on the, uh, on the stand out there. And so when we rotate that face open, you're hurting yourself because you're not gonna get the spin you want. We wanna get a lot of bite, a lot of check, more spin. And so the more we rotate that face open, the more side spin and, uh, flipping and slapping at the ball, we do. So we got to avoid that. No, rotate those hands open as you take the club back, okay? Keep it shut, right in here, boom. That's step two. Step three, very critical this step. Very important, okay? And here, here, here you go. I don't want my arms to go past right here. That's as far as I'm taking my arm. P parallel, parallel to the ground. Three o'clock, nine o'clock if you're from Australia. Just kidding. I like to think that there's an electrical fence right at horizontal, right at parallel. And if I go there, I get zapped. So I don't want to go that far. I want to keep my arms maximum this far back. Every single pitch shot, you do that. Right here. Keep those arms. Every shot. You want to go farther? You got a, you got a 50. I don't care what club you use. If you need to go farther, grab more club, but keep every pitch shot the exact same. Don't change. Wait forward, don't rotate the hands, and don't go past here. This is seven iron now, right? Right here, I'm just, right here. That's gonna save you so much grief. Don't go past parallel. Right there is where you wanna be. You got a shorter shot, just add more loft. Right here. That is step number three. Let's move on. Okay, so you've got the first three steps down. Step four, this applies to every shot in your entire life. So just always do this. Where am I going? I'm so excited because this is gonna get you shots that you've never had before. What, what I want your thought process to be, you always hear people say, be aggressive, go after it. Well, yes, but the, the reality behind that is acceleration. You have to accelerate through the shot. So if you take too long of a swing, your body's gonna know, oh, slow down, puppy, you're going too fast. And you will decelerate, flip those hands, everything will be wrong. So that's why I keep your swing, your pitch is short. So your body knows, accelerate. Also, the reason we don't transfer our weight back and forth is because you transfer your weight and then you accelerate. You're gonna send this thing in outer space. You're gonna go way long, and we don't want that. That's why our weight stays forward, that our ball strike, but also it keeps us from over accelerating, adding too much power behind the ball. 
So that's why it, it all works together. So this one is right here. Accelerate through the ball. I'm always speeding up as I hit. Always accelerating through that ball. That's step four. It's getting exciting, isn't it? I know, I know. If you're excited, just shout it out. Just, yeah, yeah I know. Do it, because you, you're getting good. That's step four. Step five is gonna blow, I don't know if it's gonna blow your mind, but it's, it's, it's special. Here we go. Okay, so step five. Here's what I like to think of step five is, if you do one through four, you're fine. You could stop right there and have a great rest of your life pitching the ball. Because all the fundamentals are there. The weight's forward, you're not over-rotating your hands, your swing is short, and you're accelerating through the ball. All of that, you're good, you're good. You don't have to do this next one. This is, this is extra, so when you hit your shot, your, your buddies will just look at you, they'll be like, dude, you get one of those, dude. And they'll give you that look, like, huh? How do you do that? I've never seen that before. That's what this is. This is that secret sauce, that extra special something or other that, uh, that you get and you're like, oh, and here's what it is. It's super subtle. Let me see if you can see it, okay? You see it? You didn't see it. It's hard to see. Here's what it is. As I'm taking it back, right when I'm right here, I like to say I loosen the screw. I wanna say tighten the screw, but you're not really. So pretend I'm holding the screwdriver in this hand, right? And I'm gonna loosen the screw right there. Because righty tighty, Lefty Lucy. So I'm loosening the screw. Just pretend you're holding the screwdriver, all right? And you're loosening it. So I take it back right here. I'm loosening the screw. So I'm turning my wrist this way as if the screw is up here and I'm loosening it right there as I come down. What does that do, okay? As you can see, I mean, you're not gonna turn it that much, but just a little bit allows you to get that bowed left wrist it will get your hands ahead of the club face. It will deal off the club a little bit so you get more drive and spin on the ball. And it will just help you hit a much cleaner, crisper shot and help you drive that ball in a little bit lower with a little more spin. So, you know, everything's the same. Just whoo, loosen the screw and hit. And you'll finish kind of out in here, watch. Love that shot. Just let me know if you can see the difference. The first shot, I won't loosen the screw. Okay, here we go. Same ball, boom. Same ball, same club, same everything. Regular, no loosen the screw right here. I mean, I made it. I totally made it. Maybe you don't, shouldn't loosen the screw. Well, I made it, but you saw it. The ball went nice and high. It was good. Now here comes loosen the screw shot. Can I make two in a row? <laughs> it's rare to make it, it's hard. Here we go. Now I'm gonna loosen the screw. Almost made that one. Do you see the difference in those two shots? When you loosen the screw, it drives it lower with more spin. The other one's a much higher shot. Both are great, but that, that head turner, whoa, is the, this little guy right here. Just, just a little bit. It's gonna feel like you're going like this, but you're just, you're probably moving it just, like, 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 right, doop, like, like, like that. Just probably that much. But it feels like you're going like this. It's just a little something special that, uh, that gets you the, that was a good shot. How'd you do that? Whoa, what, huh? Is that, you hit that? That's, you're gonna get those reactions. So, just to recap, right? Weight forward, front foot. You're not rotating these. That'll kill you almost all the time. It'll kill you. Ugh. You just gotta get more lucky more often to hit good shots, okay? So none of this, keep that square, okay? Arms right to here, okay? Acceleration through the ball. And if you wanna add a little flavor to your shot, loosen the screw just a little bit right here. Right as you make that transition. It's kinda like, that's, that's your transition point right there. And it's just, just a little bit right in there. Boom, and then you'll finish 
a little more up here. Whereas if you don't do it, you'll be a little more there. So it's just a little flavor to your shot if you want to drive it a little bit lower with a little more spin. You don't need any special extraordinary abilities to pitch the ball like a PGA Tour professional. You just need a couple keys to help you um, really get what you're looking for. So, hope you like it, hope it helps. I'm excited for you because this is one of my favorite shots in golf and it's something I go to, let's say on par fives, man, I lay up to this 30, 40, 50 yard distance. You know, cause it's really cool to pull these shots off and it's a, so much fun. I just lick my chops every time I get something like this. Also, if I'm in trouble on a par four, man, I punch out to that, that 30, 40, 50 yard number because I just, I feel like how exciting I get to do this shot that I love so much. And I say par a lot more often than, uh, than I don't. So give it a try. Let me know if it works for you. Man, I sure hope it does. Comment below, like the video, share it to your friends. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. I love you guys. Good luck out there on the links. It's wet out here. In California, I mean, we get some rain. It's the whole state shuts down which is what happens. I'm kind of weak out here. I know, I know, but it's just who we are. What are you gonna do? Anyways, peace out. See you next time.